next question is using the schema builder a developer tries to change the api name of a field that is referenced in an apex test class what is the end result option a the api name is not changed and there are no other impacts option b the api name of the field and the reference in the test class is changed option c the api name of the field is changed and a warning is issued to update the class option d the api name of the field and the reference in the test class is updated the correct answer is option c our next question is when is an apex trigger required instead of a process builder process option a when a record needs to be created option b when multiple records related to the triggering record need to be updated option c when a post to chatter needs to be created option d when an action needs to be taken on a delete or undelete or before a dml operation is executed the correct answer is option d Our next question is a developer needs to join data received from an integration with an external system with parent records in salesforce the data set does not contain the salesforce ids of the parent records but it does have a foreign key attribute that can be used to identify the parent which action will allow the developer to relate records in the data model without knowing the salesforce id option a create and populate a custom field on the parent object marked as unique option b create a custom field on the child object of type external relationship option c create and populate a custom field on the parent object marked as an external id option d create a custom field on the child object of type foreign key correct answer is option d our next question is a developer created a lightning component to display a short text summary for an object and wants to use it with multiple apex classes how should the developer design the apex classes option a have each class define method get object that returns the s object that is controlled by the apex class option b extend each class from the same base class that has a method get text summary that returns the summary option c have each class implement an interface that defines method get text summary that returns the summary and option d have each class define method get text summary that returns the summary and the correct answer is option c next question is which approach should a developer use to add pagination to a visual force page option a a standard controller option b the action attribute for a page option c the extensions attribute for a page option d a standard set controller correct answer is option d our next question is a developer is asked to create a pdf quote document for matted using the company's branding guidelines and automatically save it to the opportunity record which two ways should a developer create this functionality choose two option a install an application from the app exchange to generate documents option b create a visual force page with custom styling option c create an email template and use it in process builder option d 
create a visual flow that implements the company's formatting and the correct answer is option a and b